forgot how powerful my suits have gone. Especially things like the, um, the Wing Zero and the Double O Quanta. I'm still deciding what I want to do with Stargazer. If I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to develop into a different suit. Actually, I, I forgot. What are its weapons? That's, it has a beam gun, uh, the orange de Lou, the flash mine, and the bull de Lune. I forgot. It's a, it's a really weird suit, Stargazer. It's a deep space exploration suit, so it doesn't really have many weapons. But now, this is honestly my favorite part of the mission, I mean, of this story for the game and the actual movie. I'm going to kick it up to hard, I think. I definitely don't think my team's ready for extra. Yep. I don't think my team's ready for extra, but I do think my team's ready for hard. The Barton Foundation. Yeah, that's what that's what ガンダムのパイロットたちの判断により覆され、予定通りの結末には至らなかった。計画の変更を余儀なくされた出来物は平和の水面下に照れ、決起の時を待ち続ける。そして、13番目の星座法、通行なマリオネットを手にした敵、
You know, this is a... Oh, God. This is a movie I cannot stress enough. I honestly recommend a lot of people watch. Like, the game... Don't get me wrong. I love this game. I think it's an amazing way to introduce people to the world of Gundam. Especially if they're a fan of games like, say, Fire Emblem. But nothing compares to the actual movie of Endless Waltz. So much of it. The animation is beautiful. The story, the philosophy. There's just so much in this movie. They built their army on MO3, made them keep their eyes on the con. This is such a brilliant strategy. They played the preventers by moving Neo Titanium from an MO3 to the colony, so they thought the colony was the problem, not MO3. And then there's an unidentified suit that no one took into account. Mostly because they thought the pilot was dead. The Tall Geese 3. Zex Marquis. He basically held Zex up at gunpoint, said, because he could drop this colony at a flip of a switch. They had this planned beautifully. She kidnapped her because of the fact um, Rolina has the power to sort of make her plan come true. I know they do have the scene. Gundam pilots are aware of Operation Meteor. Thank you. 
Yeah. Duo brings up a point. So Troa has been a double agent this entire time. So now Duo is wondering, is Wu Fei a double agent? And he wouldn't. He, Wu Fei, that's not Wu Fei's style. Wu Fei is very much just a blunt, hit it with a hammer guy. Yeah, by the time they finished it, they were already well beyond his range. They don't really emphasize it enough with the game, I think. Because they put Toggies 3 right on top of them. There's the quote. Yeah, this this actual quote is much, much, much earlier in the movie than it is here. Yes, I think it is. So I could have sworn she had this conversation with Rolina on the um on the colony. First two suits to see combat is the Toggies 3 and the to Anoints Taurus. And, oh boy, there are a lot of mobile suits on the battlefield right now. I remember when I get to sortie my team.
It's a ground battle. Barbatos is going to be really useful. So what I'm going to do is move you and move you. Put Barbatos right here. Put you in the rear. Actually, I'm going to remove that. I'm going to put you where Stargazer was. I'm going to replace you. Replace Stargazer with Chiridum. And with group five from the knights. Actually, I think this is a pretty good team. The only thing I'm going to change is going to move Death Scythe up to a front liner and Strike Freedom into a rear liner. Okay. And start stage. Is he already at the edge of the Buster Rifle's range? No. So what I'm going to do is... Because Wufei's suit is really only good at melee. Did that actually hit? No, it did not. Okay, now we're going. Now this is the real battlefield. This is where things are going to get hard fast. No, no I'm going to open with the death scythe moving. Can can Astroth get close enough to trigger a raid? I'm not gonna use Astaroth for that. Okay, we open up with Makaria. Okay, hopefully that's low enough that with the multiple locks. Put everything into rebukes that, and I'm gonna put it into its mo bit into its mobility. And I'll save it. I'm gonna I'm gonna slowly move my forces up because of the fact that they got. So such a large army.
Open up GM sniper rifle. I'm not sure if this will have enough power to actually, yeah, I got, I can use support from the double of Quanta. There we go. Yeah, I'm no longer one-shotting. Okay, we ended with a raid attack. thing is, this isn't even the full map. This is only the first wave. Okay, we got one kill there. Beam cannon. Really? You chose to go after... Okay. I'm confused about why it chose to go after the double O. No, I'm gonna, I am going to raid, use the raid lock, but I'm going to use it with the strike freedom, I think. As if I can get close enough. I'm only gonna take out one with this, but at least it's gonna get strike freedom into the, into range to actually start fighting.
Buster's a rifle. At least your morale finally broke through there. And now, what I'm going to do here is... No. Okay, now I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to move you here so I have a point where I can use the raid lock. And then I'm going to attack you. And then I'm going to use this as an excuse to move up heavy arms. And then use the raid lock to get sec heavy arms a second movement. Everything into that attack stat. Hatch full open. North side's all clear. No, it cancel because it has Hero taken his turn. Gonna move here over here. Twin Buster rifle. Okay, get some support from the Strike Freedom. If he's going for this, I gotta go with Twin. Otherwise, he's just gonna out damage me. Princess of Death. Okay. And then the smooth bore cannon. I'm not even gonna risk it. Raid lock. Now that everyone's at low health, 
hopefully this is enough to push double X to the point where I could use the satellite cannon. Almost. Okay, let's see. I believe that's all the units down here on the surface right now. Okay, what's here we're looking at in terms of HP? 4,797. Faze got an HP lead on me. Oh, shit. No. Uh... T t where would it go? No, that's... Does this start the actual stage over? Oh, shit! See, we're... See... Uh, do I have any repair skills? Yes, I do. Okay, let's see, move Astaroth and rebuke full city up. Double X on the front lines. And get Noin right up here. Okay, now that Hero has the Zero System active, should hopefully be able to turn this around. And now he doesn't have it anymore. Nope. Went a little bit too far. see what I could do on Earth really quick. Get everyone else into good positions. Move Astaroth and you in front. You there and move you there. Keep Toggies in the back because if I lose them it's game over. My zero and my double of quanta right here. And it's just the double X, which is already in a good spot. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it. It was worth it. ルーペ。今はそれでいいかもしれない。だが、マリーメイは歴史を繰り返すだけだ。悲しく惨めな戦争の歴史をな。ここで流れを食い止めなければ、また俺たちと同じような兵士が必要となってくる。そうなれば悲劇<笑>
They actually cut a really powerful line from this scene, but granted, it's because they didn't have the context set up for it. There, There's a really good line in that, but yeah, Hero suffers from extreme PTSD. That has a lot of mobile suits. And of course we got another, we got a back row now. I think this plays out definitely somewhat because I've beaten the level before, because I don't remember this happening this early. Yeah, this is completely changed for this game. And then we've got the unknowns. Three servants to the north, three to the south. This is not a good battle site. Firm support, twin buster rifle. I can't do that too much because it it's a drain on the wing zero's energy.
Oh my god, I forgot how many there are. I gotta get the team back there as quickly as possible, otherwise I really run the risk of losing these two. Trans Am. I can afford to be a little bit more lenient with using my um, Trans Am for the 00 Quanta because of the fact that it recharges its GN drives. I mean, the GN drives recharge its energy so fast. Is this Cheerdom I'm running, or is this the other one? Counter support. Okay, the recharge there. Okay, time to tear through their forces. Between the two of these, they should be able to get rid of you. And move forward with Barbatos. Okay, we're gonna move in with. Yeah, it is cheered them. Just be on the safe side. 
Hellblade. I'll be honest, of the Barber, because uh, I want to talk about Barbatos. I love the Barbatos line, but I honestly prefer um, oh, what's it called, Lupus over Lupus Rex. I don't know. I, I think it's just I don't like the bestial design of it. I think it works for Mikazuki towards the end of the series. But I don't know. I think I just prefer the lightweight appearance of its start of its lupus. Okay, time to move in with the zero and the quanta. Now you've reached terrifying levels. And then we're going to use Raid Lock to get Quanta in there. Oh my god! Yeah, because I'm in, I'm supercharged now, so I'm just going to be dealing criticals with these two. Which pretty much means my Zero and my Double O Quanta here are going to be one-shotting everything on the board. I actually might rebuild an Anexia. Because here's the thing, I love this double O Quanta, but I think it's a little overpowered. Like, this thing just tears through everything. Okay, uh... Okay, I'm gonna move Tristan with the double X right there. Have him deal with that one. Have a move here. Ho hopefully, it's enough for the. Yep, okay. The Buster Rifle gets the kill. That should be enough to push him to use the satellite cannon. Yes! You know what? I'm, I'm actually gonna play this animation. Hopefully, it doesn't lag to hell. Let's see how it comes out. Actually, it comes out pretty well. Okay, never mind. We can actually play it. That is why I love the satellite cannon. <laughs> oh god, it's so good, but I honestly prefer my Trans Am. I do like how when Gundam introduces an overpowered weapon like the satellite cannon or, in all honesty, the Trans Am system, they always have some massive drawback. Um, an example is um, satellite cannon cannot be used in... Um, the day it has to be at night where um trans am has this oh the super fuck i forgot he his morale changes ridiculously fast because of his character ability 
only I could get Sean to full burst mode, then things will get really fun. But I just do that because I know I can actually play the animations now. Support from PK with this because he's got the beam handling perk. I forgot this is the song we chose for her! Of course, for this one, we chose the theme for the Strike Freedom. I actually haven't watched many of these animations. My god, I forget how good they are. It only seems to lag a little bit during the explosions. God, I keep forgetting how cool of a suit Strike Freedom is, appearance-wise. I hate its series, but my god, it's a gorgeous suit. I mean, look at this thing. Doesn't look like they got any kills with it, but oh god, everything's in pain. And a perfect evasion. Actually, let's see, can I get to a point where I can... Yeah, let's hit the one that's that hasn't been touched yet. Hero can get the others. Visual.
That's pretty much a scene from scene recreation of what this thing does during um this movie. He survived because he used defense. Oh. See, they're breaking through their line. My group's already broken through. Let's see. Hero could clean up the rest. Thing. I won't play all the animations because uh, I'll be honest that's gonna get kind of repetitive fast because I tend to use the same attacks but if it's one like where I was I knew I was gonna be doing three there I'll show at least one oh it's such a cool visual thing is, despite what they show here in the game, um, in the movie, they actually didn't kill any of her soldiers. They used all... Well, Hero actually did. Yeah, they used non-lethal attacks. Uh, basically, whatever they did, they destroyed the mobile suits, not the um, pilots. Wufei is going to need help, though. Especially if that rear guard decides to turn around and go after Wufei. Because I don't think he can deal with both. No, six. Let's see, there's three there. Oh, wait, no, Rebuke hasn't done anything yet. Oh god, I love how Iron Blood Orphan suits look. Cause I, I love the demon aspects of the um Iron Blood suits. It's probably why out of any of the mo like the collections I've got, I've got more I think from uh, my I think I've got Lupus, Lupus Rex, Ball, and Astroth. Then I've got Astraea, Orphansa, Exia, Double O. No, I actually have a tie between um Double O and Iron Blood suits for the models I've built. I think. I know the one I have the least for is probably Seed. Though I do have... I, no, no, classic, classic. Because I've only got one from the original series, and that's the RX-78-2. And the only reason I have the RX is because it's... It, I need a granddaddy suit for any... Any Gundam collector needs to have gr the grandpa suit. Also, I didn't get to talk. I didn't talk about this because I was busy counting my models. But um, yeah, this weapon's kind of fucked.
See, it should now be five, because the only ones left are the other AI the, um, pre-gen suits, and I'm not using those ones outside of the two who are stuck. But, you know, I can use a support, which is probably going to be, yep, the Strike Freedom. I don't get why this isn't counted as a beam weapon. That's just gonna be an evasion, so I'm just gonna skip the animation. Shit. We've already seen this one, so I'm not gonna... No! Actually, wait, is that enough that her keep super critical? Nope. Oh, and she cooled down to the point she lost. Fuck! I've lost the zero system on my side. Yeah, we haven't seen this one. I'm gonna play this animation. You know what, I'm curious, what would I hit if I was to use... Okay, let's zoom out, let's see... Nothing! It'd be a waste of my double X. He's ever got this win. The reason I have so many points stashed away for these thing for these suits is because, well, I I tend to send them on group dispatches, so 
when I'm at work, so when I come back, the suits level up. I just don't spend the points. Now let's use the railgun. I did not mean to do it like that. I meant to show the animation. But. Now I can show the real fun thing with this. You know, let's let's do a double showcase with both of them at their full power. <laughs> yeah, Tristan, I'll go <laughs> Tristan covering you with a fucking satellite cannon. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, that visual is so gorgeous! the full burst mood full burst is honestly amazing like strike freedom using the full burst mode is honestly one of my favorite visuals in all of sea destiny That and impulse com like coming together and turning on its um, phase shift armor. I'll be honest. I love the visuals of Seed and Sea Destiny. I think it's some of the best animation of the time for Gundam. But oh my God, it's it's not so much the overall story. The overall plot could actually is actually pretty salvageable. It's the whole drama between the characters. That's what bogs it down. You see, Sean's now supercharged. Let's send in our little goddess of death. Oh, princess of death. Sure, what is David calling her now? I think he's. Oh, I meant to show it. No, my fault. No, she's the princess of pain. That's her new name. No. Let's finish up here. Support from Virgo with the twin buster rifle. We're gonna show this because I haven't shown off any. It'd be a sin if I didn't show off the Trans Am. As much as I really like this double O Quanta Saber unit, I think I'm going to shelve it for now and I'm going to rebuild an Exia. I don't know what it is. I just, I have the soft, this massive soft spot for the Exia, specifically the R2.
There was definitely more than a little lag there. That's because that is just the most visually intensive thing we've done in this entire stream. I'm gonna change my character portrait. Just check saying really quick on my pilot. What's he better at? He's better at melee. No, I'll leave Astroth back there. Twins at like cannon time! If I want to talk about a Gundam model I really, really want to build, and I, I just cannot find it, I want to build X Gundam. I can't find it for a good price. It's always so expensive. Princess of Pain, time to go in. Now I'm only going to do one because I want to see if I can trigger a certain system. I want to see that's enough to push her over to use to the um uh, high, super high morale state. Oh god, that visual is gorgeous.
Limiter off. I do feel like that actually perfectly captures the high speed movement of Barbatos with the limiter off. And then we'll use hatch full open. We need more missiles! There, I want to attack this one with the beam trident. Yeah, the explosion pierced my shield. It was a risk. I was hoping I could avoid it, but no more Transam for the rest of the night. Oh, the rest of the day. Cause, yep, there we go. That's why I was trying to fill up. Oh, that one unit's about to get fucked. Let's end with the 11 inactive units. It's only one machine left. Oh, yes! This is how I want to end this level. With sheer overkill.
That was just sheer overkill. Both full burst and a satellite cannon. You can't break. What's wrong, pupper? I have a little dog. The thing is, Un isn't the one who says that in the movie. Uh, it's someone else. And then Hero shows up with a gun. This scene's completely different in the movie, and honestly, it's better in the movie. I cannot trust this enough. If you have not seen Gundam Wing Endless Waltz, I do recommend watching it. Wow, Sean had more kills than me. Tristan was in third. my first clear on that difficulty. Yeah, they also cut this scene. ソーシャの地戦いだった。永遠の未来を求め、封印した魂を呼び戻した少年たちと悲壮な覚悟で戦い抜ける彼らの姿に心を打たれた人々は自らの意志で平和を求めて立ち上がり武器を持たない戦いとして人々の気高き行為に屈した自分で戸屋かと言ったって始まらないぜ。それに俺たちには帰る場所がある。だ。ああ。そうだな。狂った時代は終わったぞ。またく。どうか。奴らかに戻ってくれ。判断は沈んでされ。薬の Sonosuki 
ランダムの最後を見届けた5人の少年たちもまた戦いの中で見つけ出したらそれぞれの居場所へと帰っていく時もアフターコロニー197年人々のもとに平和は戻りその後の地球圏の歴史の中でガンダムを含むモビルスーツという兵器の存在は二度とその姿を表すこと See, well, that's kind of not true.、Uh, not for many, 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 many years. They had reached peace, but I'm not going to take that away from this series. This movie, I made a claim at the start of the stream that I consider. I'm pulling up the organization menu just so it, it doesn't lie. I made a claim that I consider Gundam Wing Endless Waltz to be a Christmas movie. My reason for this statement is at the end of the whole thing, this large scale battle, they, they avoid killing everyone. Like the Gundam pilots avoid killing. It isn't them who finish it. It is the, as I mentioned there, it was people who decided that they were going to fight against this belief of humanity only being about war. With empty hands. It's, a much, it's more about peace on earth and that kind of stuff. Which is something that I actually really do enjoy about that movie. But with that, I hope everyone who decided to come in today or is watching this on YouTube enjoys the rest of their day. Um. If you're watching this on YouTube on the days I am planning to release these two videos, I hope you enjoy your Christmas, and to everyone else who does celebrate it, have a happy holidays.